most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Welcome back in everyone. Taking a look at what's outside currently in terms of temperatures, low to mid 30s. Now this is where we're going to bottom out later today. We actually see a decent climb about 30 degrees in some spots, so not looking too bad in that department. How about a live view from Middletown right now? Clear skies and still seeing some traffic there along the turnpike perhaps, but everything's quite still and it is a quiet morning across the entire region. We've been checking in with a bunch of different places. If you have any early morning plans, weather is not a factor. There's no fog, clear skies, clear sailing. There are some clouds off to the north and even some snow showers over parts of Lake Superior. Now I will say as we watch some of these snow showers drop in, say over Sault Ste. Marie and North Bay, a lot of it's falling apart. A lot of dry air that's been kind of stuck over not only the Northeast, but Southern Canada really having an impact here so far this fall that it seems like every precipitation chance doesn't have much of a chance. When we look at things today, it leads to a nice sunny day, a bit breezy by the afternoon, but look at this highs near 58 degrees, if not near 60 for some of us, and that would be above average, just like yesterday was to yesterday's high was 58 with all the sunshine and even with that breeze, it still felt quite nice during the day. Looking at our service map setup, high pressure right overhead. Now our next system is beginning to take shape off to the west and southwest. This one finally will pick up some moisture and as it does so actually give us a chance of about one inch of rain, but that's not today. Today is perfectly quiet and still. And by the way, too, when the clouds do pass by, you're barely going to notice this front. <laughs> the latest run of precision cast not showing much in the way of late day clouds, even overnight into Monday. Instead, still Monday bringing more sunshine, but you will notice tomorrow about a 10 degree drop in high temperatures. So instead of upper 50s, think upper 40s for highs. And then Monday night into Tuesday, the clouds really thicken. And watch what happens here early Tuesday morning. Just that chance, a brief window of time where there could be some wet snowflakes or ice pellets falling before steady rain develops. And this is a very good sign here that we're seeing some deeper moisture moving on through pretty much a solid rainfall event across the mid state. It's been a while since we've been able to say that, and then it wraps up Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning before Wednesday itself too reinforces some of this chill. Now Wednesday for traveling is fine. Thanksgiving Day is good too, but when we watch late Friday into Saturday, so this is late Black Friday into next Saturday, that's when we notice another chance of rain. This one coming up from the southwest to the northeast. It's not a slam dunk. It affects our forecast, but I do think along the east coast into the northeast there will be some travel concerns due to this rain. Is it the biggest deal in the world? No, but for any travel plans, keep that in mind. And locally, we could certainly use the rain. Right now, we'll just call it a chance. Instead of saying periods of rain or scattered showers, we're not quite convinced that this is going to be a factor for us. But temperatures in the middle to upper 40s in the next two days, back into the 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. I think it will feel like Thanksgiving by Thursday and Friday, which is not a bad thing for this time of the year. No. A little bit of chill in the air, but not overly cold. And other than that brief chance of a wet snowflake or sleet, we keep any of that winter nonsense away for travel plans. Oh, that is very good for me. And again, that's travel. early Tuesday morning. So it's something we'll be talking about over the next 24 to 36 hours. And you can stay up to date on the ABC 27 yes, weather can. app. Thank you for the plug, Kayla. Of course. Well, speaking of plugs, happy International Journalist we'll Day.